This is one of the trickiest math PSLE questions this year. Do you get it right? There are three rows of seats in a classroom, and each row has the same number of chairs. A group of students entered the classroom and occupied 5 over 8 of all the seats. Then, one-fifth of the students left the classroom. The remaining students moved and sat in the first two rows. What fraction of the seats in the first two rows are now occupied? So for this question, it will be helpful if you draw a diagram. We know that there are three rows of seats. So over here, you can see that I have drawn three rows. So based on the fraction 5 over 8, the denominator 8 tells us that in total, there's supposed to be 8 units. So therefore, I split the rows into 8 each. So now, based on this diagram, we can see that there are 24 units in total. That would be our first step for the question. So we can use 8 units times the 3 rows to get 24 units in total. So we know that at the start, 5 over 8 of all the seats were occupied. That would be our next step. We are going to find the seats that were occupied originally. And this is 5 over 8 of the total. So we use 5 over 8 times the total units, 24, and this gives us 15 units. So this means that at first, there were 15 units that were occupied. Now, after which, one-fifth of the students left. So this means that four-fifths of the students remain. So our next step would be to find out how many units of students remain. So this would be the seats that are occupied in the end. And we can find this by using four-fifths times the 15 units. So this gives us 12 units. In the end, we know that there are 12 units of students and they are going to be sitting in the first two rows. In the first two rows, we can see that there are 16 units in total. So, our last step is to put 12 units over 16 units. And then we simplify this by dividing by 4. And that's how we get 3 quarter as the final answer.